And the Integrity Commission says it has completed its investigation into allegations of financial irregularities at Petrojam and is forwarding the findings to its Director of Corruption Prosecution, Dirk Harrison. The Integrity Commission's findings were outlined in its 2018-2019 annual report tabled in the Senate on Friday. For several months, the Parliamentary Opposition and the National Integrity Action, NIA, have been bashing the Integrity Commission on its silence on Petrojam and other state agencies accused of corruption, nepotism and cronyism in the award of government contracts. The Commission rejected the claims and its report stated that its Special Investigations Unit is now conducting investigations into eight cases. The cases involved alleged corruption, financial irregularities and improprieties in the award of government contracts and procurement activities of certain municipal corporations, constituency offices, a public educational facility, and other state-owned and operated entities, and fraud and impropriety in the purported registration of a government contractor. Of the eight investigations during the calendar period, the Integrity Commission says it has completed its probe of the Petrojam scandal. It says the investigative process and reporting dealing with matters concerning Petrojam Limited has been completed and the report is being forwarded to the Director of Corruption Prosecution pursuant to Section 54 of the Integrity Commission Act. The Director of Corruption Prosecution will decide whether there is sufficient evidence to pursue a case against persons involved in the Petrojam affair. Former Energy Minister Dr. Andrew Wheatley resigned in July last year as calls mounted for him to go in the wake of allegations of corruption and mismanagement at Petrojam and National Energy Solutions Limited, NASAL. Petrojam General Manager Floyd Grindley was also fired.